Hi, and welcome to this troubleshooting and solution on a SmartBoard interactive whiteboard. Uh, perhaps your SmartBoard has been um, causing jagged lines, it just doesn't make sense, maybe it's working in only a certain quadrant of the board. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how to fix this. Uh, the issue is with newer computers with the Super Speed or USB 3.0. The amount of electricity running through, if a teacher causes a static discharge on the board, uh, they kind of ground themselves, they short it, and it stops working. This solution is going to fix it. Uh, I have my DeWalt drill here. Gotta love DeWalt. Um, you can use this with a regular uh, screwdriver, Phillips head, uh, or however it's mounted in there. Um, I just prefer power tools, it makes my job easier. And then you'll also want these washers here. Uh, we 3D print our own here at Emanuel, but you can pick them up at uh, Lowe's, Home Depot, uh, and it's just going to be whatever size fits the bolt that's in there. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing you're going to want to do is make sure your smart board is disconnected from the computer so uh, the USB has been pulled out. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take the tray off, you need to collect the markers as well as the eraser, take that off. Then right underneath here, there's gonna be a little foam cord. You have to disconnect. And then there's gonna be two clips under here. Just pull those clips and lift off. So let's go ahead and zoom in here. So as you can see, uh, this is how a projector is mounted. There's two parts. There's an upper part, which is just kind of a uh, guide or a holder. And then this bottom mounting bracket here. Uh, you can see ours is just secured with a bolt. I'm just going to use my Phillips head on my DeWalt drill, 20 volt max. Uh, DeWalt is one of the better ones, so I highly recommend that. And all you're going to do is you're just going to do that on both, both of the mounting brackets. And then you gently pull forward. You're actually going to want to put uh, one, one washer on first, then you'll have your other washer ready to go. Um, and you just gently pull forward on the board. You've got to line up the screw so it sits in there. This can be a tedious process sometimes. That's okay. Slide the washer into the back. Once you're all secured and ready to go, just screw it into place as such. Careful not to go too fast or use too much torque uh, if you're using power tools. And we'll do the other side now. The other thing is I might recommend, depending on where the smart board placement is, bringing knee pads because you know, sometimes it just gets annoying to, to uh, sit on the ground. So, we'll get this one in here first. Slide the second washer into place. If you can have someone help you, that also greatly helps. Okay, so there's that. It is kind of a juggling act here with everything as well. There we go. So that's into place. And as you can see, this is why I recommend using the power tool over just a regular screwdriver so that it goes a lot faster. Now that we're done, we just put everything back into place. So we put the tray back on here. You want to hear that click sound onto it. Put the markers back in order. Unless you want to mess with your teachers. Always put them out of order. And then most importantly, you need to make sure that you clip this back into place. Goes into the one slot and then also plug it back into the computer. Hopefully you have found this tutorial on fixing the smart board from a static discharge helpful. Uh, if so, please leave a like, comment if you found any better solutions or anything else that might happen. As always, thanks for watching.